Top line baits, dipstick. What makes this lure so special? I get that asked that pretty much every week and every time we post a video. Check out the clip right here and you'll see why this one's been special for me and stick around and we'll talk about it after this clip. There's one. First cast with the dipstick. What you're looking at right there is an angry muskie that chewed on the dipstick. Thrown by the dipstick. <laughs> hey, hey now. <laughs> so I literally, hold it up. So we just pulled on this spot. I've been at the back of the boat throwing pretty much everything in the tackle box and nothing's been working and i just went back to like old reliable this year i put the dipstick on and very first cast hit way out from the boat hey now yeah we're slowly making our way back to the truck we got some weather rolling in and we're trying to go back on fish we've seen earlier we've seen a fish in this saddle earlier this isn't it this is quite a bit smaller and we just rolled up and like glenn said First cast. So he's free. So anyway, I had to cut the hook. I'm not gonna waste time on that. I'll just grab the fish here. Okay, I'm, I'm getting off the net one. Okay. Hey, don't cook yourself again. Not the biggest one, but it's a chunky little guy. Nice Looks and clean good. fish. Nice and clean. And again, hit first cast on the dipstick. Top line baits. Beauty stuff. Perfect. You guys have heard me talk about the dipstick all through the course of 2022 and into 2023. It was number two on our top five baits of the year. Check out that video right here. But for me personally, it was probably my MVP. I reach for this lure so much. And the fact that David didn't have one probably kept it from being in contention for number one with the growler. But for me, it's just such an versatile awesome lure it's easy to work and check out the clips here where we compare it to a fat az raptor and a kodiak navin from chaos they have similar action but there's just something special about the dipstick and the fact that you can use it in a couple different ways you can use it as like a classic jerk bait you can use it as a twitch bait you can use it almost as a straight retrieve crank bait so for me, it was just one of those baits that I could use so many different ways, and I always found that I was just reaching for it more often than not. That's a bigger one. Different lure than one. Yep, I got it.
my next trick. <laughs> <laughs> Unloosening is the exact opposite of loosening. Today it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's our sunset, the, uh, the obligatory sunset. But alas, we got two. Well, one and a one and a half. One and a half. It is what it is. We moved a lot of fish. You're never gonna complain when you get one and a half. One in the boat and a half that we let go right beside the boat because we're not interested in those little guys and no need to bring a small one in the boat for anything that we need to do. But overall, pretty decent day. We seen fish on different spots today. Uh, things were transitioning into the rocks, which was a shock, but nice to see. It's like our summer pattern is here at the start of September almost, but yeah. uh, whatever we had to change our plan and adapt as we go and we're dealing with brutal wind but uh it is what it is yeah we got uh one and that should turn out pretty good first cast after putting on the dipstick so that's always kind of cool to kind of pick the right bait and for another time when we had to really grind one out on this lake check out the link right here and until next time later don't listen to him <laughs> 54 bust is out of here we'll catch you guys out on the water Bye. later.